was born. Could this be what I was destined for? A dream life filled with luxury? Apparently not. Even fate picks its favorites. No big deal. A much different fate awaited me. A baby! How thoughtful! Oh, yes, yes, I saw it and thought of you. Luckily, I found a lovely little place to call home. Can we keep it? A place that taught me the differences between right and wrong. Mr. Goody Two Shoes, on the other hand, had life handed to him on a silver platter. Our baby can fly. Yes, yes, nothing but the best for you, darling. The power of flight, invulnerability, and great hair. But I had something far, far greater. My amazing intellect, a knack for building objects of mayhem. After a few years, and with some time off for good behavior, I was given an opportunity to better myself through learning at a strange place called Chul. It was there that I once again ran into Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. He had already amassed a gigantic army of soft-headed groupies. He bought their affections with showmanship and extravagant gifts of deliciousness. So I too will make this poppet corn and win over those mindless drones. Lights out. That's when I learned a very hard lesson. Good receives all the praise and adulation while evil is sent to quiet time in the corner. So fitting in wasn't really an option. While they were learning the Itsy Bitsy Spider, I learned how to dehydrate animate objects and rehydrate them at will. Some days it felt like it was just me and Minion against the world. No matter how hard I tried, I was always the odd man out, the last one picked, the screw-up, the black sheep, yeah! the bad boy. <laughs> was this my destiny? Wait, maybe it was. Being bad is the one thing I'm good at. Then it hit me. If I was the bad boy, then I was going to be the baddest boy of them all. I was destined to be a supervillain, and we were destined to be rivals. The die had been cast, and so began an enduring epic lifelong career. <laughs> 